Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Kermis at MH Tutorials and today I want to address a question that I got regarding mirroring objects while box modeling. Okay, so what do I mean by that? First of all, what's box modeling? Uh, when you're modeling a character, for example, in Maya, uh, you would start off uh, with basic shapes like a sphere or a cube and so forth. Um, and um, you know you would go from there. So that's what is referred to as box modeling. Uh, opposite to box modeling, which is an alternative uh, in Maya, is NURBS modeling. Uh, I like to refer to NURBS modeling as working with uh, sheet metal, so to speak. Uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, it's more like wrapping um, paper around an invisible object or wrapping sheet metal around a visible object to create the shape that way. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate, but that's how I see it anyway. Okay. Now, for box modeling, if you are, for example, I'll just create a quick uh, sphere here. Let's say this is the head of a character, right? You want to uh, work on his right ear. Now, let's say that I quickly grab one of these faces here, right-click face, click on that, and I pull that out, right? Nothing going on over here. So if I you know, decide that I want to have the ear shaped like that, I'll have to go over there and I'll have to duplicate that in the exact same way, which is, first of all, time consuming, and second, it's pretty difficult to do, right? So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna undo this, what we're going to do is we're going to select half of our cylinder and we're going to delete it, right? I'm just going to switch views to do that. Um, I'm just going to go here to object mode, make sure that's selected. Right click, go to face, drag, select, and select half of my cylinder like that. And I'm going to hit delete, okay? Now, if you go back to our perspective view, not only do you see that I have half of my, uh, my sphere, but what's really important is there's no, this is open, there's no face here. Because if you duplicate this, you're going to duplicate that face as well, and then you're going to have two separate objects, and they're not one, if you know what I mean. Okay? So, now that I got this, what I need to do is I need to duplicate this in a negative so it's going to be over here, and I need to tell the system anything that happens here happens over here, but in a negative space, if you know what I mean. So how do we do that? I'm going to right-click on this, go to Object Mode, select it. We're going to go up to uh, Edit, Duplicate Special, and we're going to hit the Option box. Okay. Now, first of all, make sure that you reset your settings. Okay. What we want is we want an instance. That's important, okay? We uh, want a negative scale value of minus one, right? And the rest we leave as is, okay? And we hit duplicate special, and there we go, okay? So now, if I go into this face here, right click, select face, I select that, you can see that the one over there is selected as well, right? So if I start to pull on this, it's going to react in the exact same way, right? I can pull that up, I can pull it out, etc. You can do that with uh, faces and so forth. Now, there is a tricky thing, though. If I right-click on edge, for example, and I select this edge, I'm going to create a gap here. You see that? And you don't want that. So, hit Control z to undo that. We can fix that. What we're going to do is we're going to double-click on this tool here, the Move tool. And if you scroll all the way down, I think it's all the way down, and you go to your Reflection Settings, what you need to do here is you need to select Reflection, right? And that will enable you to preserve the seam. So, if I close this, you know, now if I select that edge and I want to pull that open, it's not going to open anymore. See that? Okay. So from here, you can do all sorts of things, right? Uh, let's say you want to create the neck, for example, and you select these faces. As you can see, the same thing is happening at the other end, 
right I'll just uh, quickly complete that one to show you what I mean it's okay there we go okay so now if I decide to go to mesh uh, sorry edit mesh extrude and I hit W I can pull that down see that all right now I'll just undo that so that is how the mirroring function works uh, hopefully that was helpful uh, if you've got any questions leave them in the comments section and see you guys next time thanks for watching